What EDN technologies are you investigating here today? Uh, we're currently doing a scalpel blade project, sort of with uh, Coventry University. So we're exploring the use of the EDM fanning machine to produce the actual blade. Well, normally we uh, use EDM manufacturing for parting off the AM produced products from the base and at the moment where we've got certain types of work on we're actually able to achieve certain shapes and apertures that we can't get through conventional milling. The accuracy is second to none with all the various um, processes we use within our facility. The, the wiring side of it is, is very accurate and very reliable um, across various thicknesses and a lot of things uh, more recently we've been using the higher amount of cuts which is less polishing time for us to give us the better surface finish for a lot of our components to get quartered afterwards. You know in regards to EDM technology is it the only technology that you use at your facility? No we use CNC milling, CNC turning. Now why do you use uh, EDM manufacturing and what, what kind of applications do you use it for? It's a complementary process to be able to machine complex shapes with minimum metal removal. And is it the first time that you've looked into this as a process? For me, yes, it is actually, yeah. Well, personally, myself, I've been involved in EDM wine machines for around 18 years now, and it's opened up a plethora of um, windows that, as I said before, we can't get through conventional milling, and the advantage of cutting through harder materials as well. Why have you come to this event today? Well, this is my first visit to Fanuc's new factory, but basically I've, had, I've been a Fanuc user for many years now, and I wanted to see what's available for new technology for the future investment. We already have a lot of wire machines and EDM machines, but like I say, they're aging. We're looking at the new technologies to speed things up and um, make things better, faster. 